Let's imagine you have one of these Ataris or anything else that gets an output like this. New TVs can't take this in. So come look at the back of the screen of the TV like this. Down here, you'll find that you have a different hookup. So you wanna, how are you gonna connect these two? You plug this in. And plug it in to your antenna. Well, you have your game. As you can see, it works. Okay. Let's imagine your TV doesn't accept this kind of antenna. You don't have an antenna in like this. So you don't have the ant antenna. You can make use of an old VCR like this. An old VCR like this has in the input, it can take antenna in, right? And it has video out and audio out. So you take this adapter, you put it into your antenna in, you take your Atari, plug it in, and now the VCR gets antenna in and takes RCA out. You have the video out and the audio out. This is a mono VCR, so it only has one audio cable. There's a second audio cable, you don't need to use it, or you can use a Y splitter. And con So you have your Y splitter here, and then you connect your two into the Y splitter. But for this case, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to connect only one of the audio. And then the video signal goes out and into the TV. And now you change your input on the TV. And now you're on the VCR. Okay. In the VCR, you need to, of course, program it to go into uh, scanning the channels. And then turn it on. And you have, as you can see, channel three um, output from the VCR, and I can play the game again. Another option, assuming you only have RCA, is to mod your Atari, like this one here. I modded it, and now I have RCA output instead of antenna so now all i have to do is plug in my rca cables video and audio cables turn it on and you have another the connection working uh, it's an rf to rca adapter so it demodulates from rf to rca and then you can plug the rca into your tv i'm not showing that here today thank you